So, uh, just for the record, please state and spell your first and last name for me. <laughs> my name is Mickey Wilson. M I C K E Y W I L S O N. <laughs> and uh, do you live in Golden, is that right? Yeah, I live in Golden. Okay. But, you know, I travel so much for slacklining, I think I spend less than half my time there. <laughs> Truthfully. Your stuff lives in Golden. My, like yeah, my stuff resides in Golden. That's a great way to put it. So, okay, the first question for you, and I'll just start with this right off the bat. How does it feel to be the man? Uh, hey now, well, there's a lot. There are a lot of men out there, you know. This man doesn't know how to do CPR. This man just knows how to climb a cable and catch a knife. But yeah, it feels it feels good because you know I've been saying a lot. One of the big you know uh, goals of humankind is to learn skills in our lives as humans and then apply them in lots of different situations and crucial situations of that. And that was kind of what I did. I took, you know, eight years of slackline experience and training. I mean, I'm not just a slacker. I train hard. Uh -huh. And uh, I looked at that lift tower and that guy hanging lifelessly. And I felt the clock ticking down. And I knew exactly what, uh, what I had to do. You're such a gaper. <laughs> such a gaper. Go back to Gabe City. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was great. That was worth it. Just to... yeah. wow. Okay, so, so, so tell me about. Sorry, you can't so, believe that. So I, 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 you're wearing your ski boots, right? Yeah. You were you were skiing. So so tell me about like you climbed and just and how did you like the logistics so uh, of you getting so on the human pyramid off? failed because yeah. he's ten his yeah. his feet are ten feet above us. The yeah. human pyramid failed. I look at the lifty thinking for new ideas. I go. Does the lift run reverse? He yells no. And that was when I looked at the tower and went, that's the way to get to him, climb up the tower. So I ran over there, didn't, didn't want to take off my ski boots. You yeah. know, ski boots can actually be nice in a way because they're really hard yeah. and, you know, they protect you, but yeah. they're hard to balance and stuff. So I wasn't going to walk on the cable, right. but I knew I was going to probably sit on it and go hand over hand. Uh -huh. um, so I, t I ripped off my gloves and especially with this hand, because this hand's hurt. Like you can see the difference. Uh -huh. So I ripped off my gloves and I climbed up the tower and I got on and I just put my leg over the cable and I scooted along it. How far did you have to go? 30 feet from the tower down the cable, I'd and, say. And you, when, you're on, when you're on there, right, your leg's on top yeah. and you're looking at that 30 feet, were you thinking that's far or were you thinking that's, that's I could do that? No, I, I, I had 100% confidence the entire time. Um, my slackline skills prepared me to do way harder things than that. I've scooted, I've injured my, I've injured my elbow before while on a high line out in the middle of a canyon, and I've done that exact same move, scooting kind of on your butt slash, you know, thigh. I've I've done that for 200 feet before, so this, this was nothing. I, I I cruised down. It was so fast. That's okay. <laughs> So, okay, so you got there, and, and you, you let yourself down under the chair, right? Yeah, which was a little scary. I, I almost, you know how the you know how the bar comes down, the people put that, you know, the bar that comes down. I almost stepped on that, and the bar almost can't, you know, if, yes. it, yeah, it would have gone down. I would have just looked like a complete fool, because I would have been right there about to save them and fallen. But no, yeah, I climbed down. I just, you know, used my kind of climbing experience. Grabbed, had a good solid grip with my hands and didn't even think about my feet. Just jumped down and once I had my feet on the seat, I knew I was there. Yeah. Was that, was that actually the trickiest part? Like the, going the 30 feet seemed like the easiest part. Right? The trickiest part of the whole thing. Honestly, the most clutch part was catching that knife, man. Yeah. If I drop that knife, it falls into the powder and then, then we're searching for a knife or something, you yeah. know? Uh, but I mean, the most technically difficult part of the whole thing was, yeah, probably climbing off the cable onto the chair. Probably took the most strength. I had to, you know, hold my whole body up for a second in my hand, my arms. Did you talk to the guy? When? I mean, have you talked to him? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's a friend yeah. of a good friend. Yeah. And um, they FaceTimed me from the hospital. And he was totally recovering. Had, just had the just had the neck brace, and uh, actually, and he was all smiles, and he got released yesterday. Uh -huh. And I talked to him yesterday. He's planning on being back skiing in a couple weeks. What did he say to you? He said thank you for saving my life. What did you, you say back? 
I said, no problem, bro. I always wanted to climb one of those things. <laughs> it's true. That's what yeah, I... hey, it's a good reason for it. Uh, no, I mean, you know, I'm trying to play it off. I don't, I mean, I, yeah, being a hero is cool and all, but, you know, like, I think every, like, anybody would have done it, had the skills, would have done it, and then afterwards would have just said, you know, come on, guys. I didn't, eat, I didn't resuscitate him. I just cut him down. Yeah. Ski Patrol is the one who resuscitated him. All right, so, so I also want to talk about just, like, lift safety in general. Okay. I, I mean, I know you're obviously familiar with it. You knew that your buddy was wearing a backpack. You know, what do you, what do you, what do you think about backpacks? What do you, what do you, how do you advise people to, to get on a lift with a backpack? It's not really my place to, to say. It's a really personal yeah. thing, you know. And um, I know that I know the ski areas have been uh, take have been taking a lot of questions about that, and that's more of a question for them, I'd say. I, I mean, I'll say the obvious. You know, be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of your of your own person. Mm -hmm. You know, be aware of your keys, be aware of your straps. I've had an exact, a very similar thing happen to me while skiing the trees with a backpack and my strap got caught and I got, I got hurt. I mean, I was hurting for the rest of the day. You know, I mean, did he do, did he do any, did, did, did our friend make a mistake? Yeah, but it was a mistake anyone could make. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about that. I just think just in general, like what you're saying. In general. Be smart, right? Like be aware of your stuff. In general. Yeah. I'll say, I mean, I'm not about to make a rule here, but have it's a good idea to have your backpack on your lap when you're dismounting. Yeah. Or at the very least, have a hold of it and know what's going on. Know what, have a plan in case it does get caught. You know, that's one of the things. Have a plan. That, that's what's cool about highlining. We, we don't just put one single line across and start slacklining out. We put a line across and then another line underneath that and then we build like four anchors on each side. That's what life's all about, having a backup plan so you know it's gonna work out. What about just, uh, you know, chairlifts in general? You know, people who see, you know, this story or, or saw what happened, at, unfortunately, at Granby Ranch uh, a little while ago, you know, they might be thinking that it's not safe to go skiing or get on a chair. Well, the last thing I ever wanna do is deter people from the wonderful sport of skiing. Um, you know, I'm not here to really talk about safety too much, but I will say that, you know, skiing is safer than driving your car. And that is a fact. But, you know, if you want, you know, if you want my sage advice from my 26 years of skiing, you don't need a backpack to ski inbound. You don't need it. What do you, what do you guys got in there? Probably nothing that you should have or need to have for the day. Maybe. I don't know. But lunch, probably lunch, right? Probably lunch, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, lunch. That's what they have in their backpacks. No, I don't know. I mean, if you want, if you really want to ski with a backpack, fine. But have a plan. Be safe. Be smart about it. And you know, just remember, it can happen to anyone. So just be ready and be heads up out there. It's a scary world. We all gotta look out for each other. So okay, I'm gonna ask you just one final question. Okay. And, and, and you kind of brought it up. I mean, not a scary world, but but to be honest with you, right? Skiing is inherently potentially dangerous thing to do, right? You're, I think it's. I think it says that on the lift right, ticket. Exactly. So 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 you just have to be uh, what? Just be smart. Just have common sense when you're out there. You know, don't take it for granted when you're going skiing that you, you know because it's at a resort or because wherever you're doing it seems you still need to be safe, right? You need to be smart about what you're doing. Yeah, you always need to be safe. I mean. Life's not about avoiding all the risk. Life's about making that perfect uh, risk reward matrix that, that works for you. I think that's a big thing. And you know, for me, slacklining it has taught me a lot about risk and reward. And I just can't thank slacklining enough. It's, uh, get, it's led me travel the world. And you know, I thought it was mostly self-serving. I was doing it for me to, to, to whatever. But you know, two days ago, my slacklining saved a life. My, my slackline skills of balance and climbing, they, they came through and I'm, I'm very happy. And I'm super grateful for Ski Patrol because without them, it, it, none of this would have worked out either. You know, it was a team effort from Arapahoe Basin. Excellent. Anything else you want to add? Hey guys, you know, slacklining. I mean, I know we're talking a little about skiing here, but slacklining is a really amazing sport that anyone in the world can do. If you can balance on one leg and walk up a step, you can learn to slackline and, uh, you should check it out. It might change your life. It did for me. Excellent. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mickey is the man. You guys, <laughs> this is the man. Uh, this is my hero right here. <laughs> 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 Key to the city, baby. Key to the city.
that's what that was my first question. How does it feel to be the man? <laughs> you are the man. Oh. <sighs> nah, it feels, I feel good, man. I'm ready to go ski some more powder. Yeah, thank you very much. Nice